When I was seven, I decided I wanted to be a writer. And the first chapter book that I read cover to cover was, in one setting, was Beverly Cleary's Ellen Tebbets, okay, when I was seven years old. And I finished it, and I closed the book, and I thought, I want to write books just like this. And I never actually have written a book just like that. But it was really a very conscious, you know, decision that there was a type of book I wanted to read, I wanted to write, and it was the kind of book that I liked to read. For Black Dove, White Raven, um, I, I, I said earlier that uh, the, it was kind of my Poisonwood Bible, mm -hmm. and that I, I would say that's not that's not you know a huge influence. I haven't read it for ten years, maybe, um, but I was very consciously, you know, sort of going back and thinking about my family and how being in a foreign country influenced them and destroyed them and made uh, us all get a little older, you know. And, and so there, there was that going on while I, was, while I was writing this book, kind of in the background. Yes, I always have considered myself to be a children's author, and that, that does go back to Ellen Tebbets, and I want to write books like this, although my books have always been aimed at a slightly older audience. Um, and I, th th I think that, you know, the teenage mentality just is, is sort of just that sweet spot for me. Um, Anne Morrow Lindbergh said that she feels that <laughs> middle age um, is a lot like uh, being a teenager. You're, especially for a woman, you know, your body is changing and, and you're, um, and, and things, things around you are changing. Um, your children may be moving away. Um, you're you're maybe thinking about retirement. Uh, you're, maybe your marriage is breaking up. You know there are things going on when you're in your 40s and your 50s that are as much of a struggle for you as being a teenager is when you're dealing with having to leave home and and having to make your own way in the world and falling in love and you know all these things that teenagers have to deal with and um i don't know i think that you know there's a there's a direct connection between the teenage me and the and the 50 year old me what is my favorite city <sighs> there was a time when i would have said Pens uh, philadelphia um that was when I lived there, and for several years after I left, I, I feel like I've kind of outgrown Philadelphia. I don't really know it anymore. Edinburgh, which is the city closest, the, the real city closest to where I live now, is a fantastically wonderful city, um, and I feel at home there, which makes it a favorite. But I do have, and I confess to, a love affair with New York, which is kind of a lame answer because it's New York, you know? <laughs> it's like. <laughs> What car would you like to have? Well, a Jaguar, of course, you know. <laughs> but I, I, re I really do love New York City. My, I was born there. Um, my father lived there almost his entire life, except for the years that we spent abroad. And he worked for the New York City Ed Board of Education for almost his entire adult life. He lived there. It was the place that I went and visited him. And I really do feel... Not at home because I'm always a tourist there, yeah. but I, I do feel a real connection to it.